Good morning. My name is James Coulterman, and I'm a graphic designer at Lesseter Media. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a bland photo and make it into a visually appealing image. Many of you may ask, what is color correcting? Color correcting is the global adjustment of the intensities of colors, typically red, green, and blue primary colors. An important goal of this adjustment is to render specific colors, <clears throat> particularly neutral colors. When an image looks too yellow or reddish, that means it's in the warm spectrum. If an image looks cyan or blue, it would be considered in the cool spectrum. What we want from today is an image with the correct white balance of the two. We will be working in a program called Adobe Lightroom. Lightroom is a powerful image program similar to Photoshop. Lightroom is a database-driven image management software that automatically reads image metadata, such as camera, make and model, data time captured, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, white balance, and more. The plus about Lightroom is it's optimized for searching and is a catalog system which makes looking for a particular image faster than Adobe's bridge. So after further ado, let's get started. Let's select this image. Then we go to develop. Now you're in the develop stage. Over here on the right column, you'll have sev several tools to use. First off is your white balance. This is what we want. This will help you get the correct color you want on your image. As you work your way down, work with your exposure, contrast, your highlights and blacks, your clarity, your tonal curve, your hue saturation and luminance, and then you can get into sharpening your image and getting rid of any noise that may occur, especially when you take an image in low light situations. Like you see here, as I zoom in, you notice the noise in this image. Later, as we proceed correcting this image, we will be using the noise reduction slider so we can get rid of some of this noise. First off, we will get the correct white balance. Notice this eyedropper tool. This will make it easy for you to get the correct color balance that you want in the image. Preferably, you want to pick a target neutral. A neutral will be any grays or browns you may see in the image. So let's look to see what we can get here. Let's try this gray down here. Now that's pretty yellow. So then we can go to our temperature slider here, and we can try to cool that down just a tad. This button right here, this will switch between the before and after, so you can see your progress. Notice how one is slightly yellower than the other. The after image has a better balance between colors. We can give it slightly more exposure, not too much contrast. When I do contrast, I usually stay below 20. Make the blacks a little richer. If you press down the option key while moving the black slider, <clears throat> excuse me, you notice the different colors in the image there. The darker the colors, the more black you get. So you typically want less colors in the screen there. That'll give you a good black. Same for the white. Do your before and after. Clarity is similar to contrast. Difference is clarity sharpens the midtones, and I usually stay under a 20, especially with uh, people shots. Give it a little more vibrance before and after again. Notice a little way more contrast in the after image, a little more sharper, colors are popping. The before image is just kind of dull, no real pizzazz, the blacks aren't that rich. But as we corrected it, we got richer blacks and richer colors. You can make those blacks just a little richer and a little more highlights. Give their skin tone a little natural color, a little more detail. And now we'll get into the noise reduction. Now you notice the noise in the picture. That's because <clears throat> this was shot in sort of a low light situation. We want to try to get rid of that. And that's where this noise reduction slider comes in handy. So we can just slide this over. Just to give you an example, look what happens when we go all the way over to the right. 
Notice how it looks like an oil painting? That's a little too much noise reduction. Let's take it back. That's not bad. Let's keep it there. Notice the big difference between the before and after pictures. After picture, you know, good white balance, not too blue, not too yellow, nice blacks, colors are vibrant. Notice his green jacket, nice and vibrant. Unlike the before, looks kind of muted, flat. The woman's white jacket, her boot, her pants, the vehicle, nice and sharp. There are many other features and effects you can do in Lightroom as well, but we won't get into those in today's lesson. There you have it. Notice the improvement in the image compared to the original. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now it's your turn to try these tips and enhance your photos. Look for more videos to come. Have a wonderful day.